because we have that excessive heat warning. Here is a live look outside that Valley View cam showing just a few clouds out there, but mostly sunny skies and that'll continue really through the weekend and into next week as well. We have a long stretch here of very hot conditions, so heat continues to be the headline. Right now we are going to see those temperatures in the triple digits. This is the high pressure system that is bringing all of this heat for not only Las Vegas, but also a good portion of California, northern Nevada, as well as Utah and Arizona. We're all under these heat advisories. Temps right now as you head out the door 108 degrees. We've actually gone down a few degrees here. We didn't quite reach that record, which was 113 degrees, but Death Valley a scorching 118 degrees right now. And to give you some perspective, we always talk about not wanting to walk your dogs in this extreme heat. This is a look at our road temperatures right now. Not a great idea to head out for a dog walk with temps at 127 degrees for our asphalt, 127 as well for Las Vegas. Here's a look at all of those uh, watches and warnings through the desert southwest and into the west coast. That excessive heat warning lasting all the way through Tuesday, as we mentioned. And we're not quite done with the monsoon, though. You can see right now storms pushing through northwest Arizona, and we're not completely ruling out the chance of a stray storm making its way into Laughlin or maybe for our higher elevations. Not too likely for Las Vegas, though. You're feeling that uh, those drier conditions really through the next couple of weeks. But here's a look at Futurecast models in play. You can see that stray storm system headed towards Laughlin by Friday evening. Here in Las Vegas, we're looking at still mostly sunny skies. Overnight slows falling back into the mid 80s, not giving us a whole lot of relief from this heat. That's partially why we have the excessive heat warning in play. Here's a look at tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies. It's a great pool day if you're starting your Labor Day weekend early. Seeing those temperatures at 107 degrees by 6 p.m., UV index is very high. The only chance to maybe catch a break from the heat where we don't see those heat advisories or warnings. Mount Charleston, those daytime highs in the low 80s, still looking at a 10 to 20% isolated thunderstorm chance and those overnight and early morning hours in the low 60s. But also remember Mount Charleston will be very popular because we are heading into Labor Day weekend. 108 Saturday and Sunday nearing some records there potentially, especially on Saturday. Then we're looking at Tuesday with those excessive heat warning expiring, but still our temperatures well above average Thursday and Wednesday with temps at 105 and 107. We'll be right back after this.